Welcome to Cooking with Andrea. Today we're going to be making a rice steak bowl with beautiful beans. So basically it's a steak, rice, and bean bowl. It's going to be delicious. Um, I had ribeyes yesterday, so I decided I wanted to use my beautiful ribeye steak, um, and I didn't going to just do leftovers today. So I went to the freezer, pulled some white rice, pulled some beans. Here's my beautiful beans. Uh, they're pintos. And, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago I had made oh, about five pounds of beans. Good Lord. I have beans to feed everybody. Um, I have some beautiful white rice here I took out of the freezer. Oh, smells delicious. It's heating right now on the stove top. Absolutely delicious white Thai jasmine rice. So this beautiful ribeye we had last night, I saved it and I put it on this plate um, with all the goodness from the barbecue grill. Um, and I says, okay, we're gonna have steak bowls today. Oh, another reason why I'm doing some tributes like this, uh, Mexican uh, Cinco de Mayo is coming up. Last week I didn't even mention anything, but I had done an asada burrito. Uh, I wanted to put some, um, uh, you know, some thoughts out there. This rice bowl is a good one if you're entertaining. It feeds lots of people. It's easy, economical. But right now we're going to use my leftovers and make a fantastic dish. Uh, so let's get started here. So I'm going to take my ribeye and I'm just going to slice it. And I'm going to slice it pretty thin. I don't want it too, uh, too thick. Not too thin either. It's going to be delicious. Mm, these ribeyes are really good. I got really lucky. I uh, walked into the store and I got a good deal. It was $1.99 a pound. And I was like, what? I haven't heard of $1.99 a pound in a very long time. Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to use any more of this because this is a little bit of fat. So we don't want that kind of fat on because this is like a silver skin fat. It's not a good fat. You know, you'll be chewing for days um, and you're not gonna get rid of it. And I'm just gonna cut it nice. Uh, yesterday we had ours medium rare. This one was our darkest one. It's already cooked. All I gotta do is I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil here on the, on the plate and throw the steak on there like this and then just heat it real fast. Um, beans are nice and warm. Uh, rice is warm so we're good to go so I'm just gonna finish cutting this steak up and then we're just gonna go ahead and warm it up because everything is already cooked everything is done and remember guys if you cut your steak down mmm even cold mmm absolutely excellent tender and you know me I can't eat tough meat I will not eat tough meat cannot eat tough meat um, so this is good stuff. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Only thing is, I shouldn't have taken such a big bite. When you take a big bite, you got to keep chewing. <laughs> mm. Okay. Absolutely delicious. And like I said, Okay, I'll go back to cutting the rest in a minute. I want to just move this around the plate because I'm getting all the flavors from the barbecue grill. I love the grill. The grill is just fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil. You can use canola, vegetable oil, whatever you have because you're not adding a lot. All you're doing is warming your steak, but I'm just trying to pick up all this goodness from the grill. Yum. And I'm just gonna put it in here and finish cutting, and it's gonna start warming. Yep, and that's all I'm gonna do. So nothing went to waste. My rice is not gonna go to waste. My beans are not going to waste. Um, I'm actually don't have to go out to eat. We've been working in the yard. Weather is beautiful. I can just stay home. Not have to worry about getting dressed because uh, I've been outside all day. Got something super fast. 
But most of all, I'm happy is we don't waste a lot of food. Everybody's going to waste something once in a while. But boy, if we waste anything, it's very minimal. You know, um, <clears throat> we reuse, uh, you know, or not reuse. Uh, we, you know, save it and then, you know, cook it another day or we warm it up another day. And uh, we make a good dish out of it. Okay. That's a little bit more fatty than what I want to get into. Prefer no fat in my dish like that. I don't really eat a lot of fat on my steaks. Um, I usually prefer to eat filet mignon. It has really no fat. I do like a good ribeye. Um, and uh, But now this is pure fat right there, so I'm not going to use that. But it's okay because I had cut these myself. Actually, this is not fat. That's a, that's pretty good. The other, you know what though, there is a piece of gristle. So, you know, we'll take these little pieces and then we're just gonna move on. Like I said, very little is ever wasted in our household. You know, if we can help it. I mean, nobody can not help wasting something, but like I said, we try like heck not to. We're very grateful to God for everything we have and grateful to our jobs and working for everything we have. Okay, so we're good there. Just gonna let this heat for a minute. As Soon as everything's heated, we're gonna come back and we're gonna assemble. Welcome back. Okay, steak is done. It was already done to begin with, but it's just warm. It's got a little bit of olive oil in there, so it's going to have a little lusciousness to it. Okay, rice is nice and done, nice and warmed. Just going to fork it for a second here. It's already nice and warm and heated. Beans are heated. I'm going to get my burners off because now we're going to start assembling. So I'm going to use the same spoon because it's all goodness. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the rice in right here. Okay. Just wanted to put the rice in. So what I'm going to do is put our beautiful rice in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a scoop of beans. And then I had gone to the refrigerator, got some tomatoes, cut it up. I got some avocado, sliced it, and I've got two beautiful kinds of cheese with a little bit of salsa. So I'm going to mix up the beans. I'm going to leave the juice. I'm actually going to do a little bit more juice so we have some goodness on here too. Because you want everything to be juicy, flavorful. Don't make it dry. That's the only thing sometimes I hate about eating bowls outside my house is I notice they tend to be dry. Okay, so that's enough beans. Now I'm going to take the beautiful steak and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to lay it across like this. Uh, I just need to make two bowls and we want to get rid of this meat. Like I said, this worked out perfect. We're going to have two bowls tonight. Nothing will go to waste. And what I'm doing is just pushing this up so we can see. I'm going to make it more square here. But I wanted to use a bowl so that I could get uh, some of the juice at the bottom. Because, like I said, I really love the juice. If you don't have juice, ah, your, dish is, your dish is dry. Not good. Okay, so that's a, we're going to put a couple more pieces of meat here. want my meat to shine through. I'm picky, picking my pieces of meat. And uh, I'm bad like this. I will really pick things like this. I will really do things like that. I pick like when I'm making dinner, I'll pick people's plates according to what you really like, how you really like your food. I really try to do that. Okay, so I'll clean up the plate afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cheese, and it's cheddar. And I just want to put it right here, like that. And that's good enough. I've got some good queso fresco. I'm going to take a little bit, and I'm going to just put a little bit on the bottom. You know why? Uh, it's kind of salty and delicious. I'm going to take a little bit of salsa. 
and it's got a little kick to it not bad it's got some jalapeno cilantro onion tomato um it's got some garlic it's got some really good stuff going on here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of tomato and then i'm going to take some avocado oh avocado so good and this is just basically a steak bowl steak and rice bean bowl i mean there's a lot of uh places that serve them and you know we've been making these forever so i was like boy you know if we would have been smart it's kind of like um you know if you would have kept your mattel toy you'd be a millionaire or you'd have a lot of money but boy we've been making these rice bowls forever we've been eating beans and rice forever and um it's so interesting but a couple chains come out with them and boy they're absolutely delicious but they really are good for you so it's good that we have chains that do that okay so at the end of the evening this is what my bowl looks like my bowl is going to taste absolutely delicious i'm going to sneak right in here on this side i'm going to pull a bite mm. Mm. you can taste the salsa salsa is absolutely delicious Mmm, got some meat, some rice. Mm. Beans are excellent. Beans are good for you too. Let me tell you, if you like the content, if you would please like, share, and subscribe, I'd be most grateful. And I hope all of you will try my steak, rice, and bean bowl. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks and have a blessed week.